Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover. So in this video, I'll be talking about some very important topics which uh, you should prepare and uh, from which you should practice questions before your jam or gate exam. These are some topics which has very high importance uh, when we talk about jam or gate exam because every year one or two questions are generally from these topics okay so i listed all these things and i will not discuss about any question or any uh, like reaction in this video but uh, i'll suggest you to do uh, practice questions from these particular topics so uh, you will see in your uh, previous uh, jam or gate exam question paper that there will be one or two question on like uh, you have to, they will give you three or four compounds and you have to arrange them in order of their acidity or basicity or pk value so this is a very important question and very common question for jam and gate exam so uh, from different books you have to collect the examples or you can watch uh, my videos there are videos on that uh, so uh, you should practice more questions from this right so uh, order of acidity basicity and pk and in this regard i will suggest you to look into the books like jerry march and uh carry sunberg so in these books uh, there are a lot of examples and also peter sykes and clayden so there are a lot of examples on the different compounds acidity and basicity how their structure and electronic structures and steric hindrance affect the acidity and basicity what will be the order that all examples you can find in these books right the next thing is the order of aromaticity now again it is a very important and uh, this thing you can get in my video i have one video on that the aromaticity there you will have lot of examples and you can also get more examples in books like uh, Carrie Sandberg and uh, Jerry Merch. Okay, now the third is the order of reactivity as a diene and dienophile. So if you know about Diels order reaction, you will know that different dienes and different dienophiles have different reactivity, right? So they are electronic substitution like the substitution by some electron withdrawing group or uh, the effect of a steric hindrance, uh, right? So you know that uh, to do diels alder reaction, dienes must be in the A-cis configuration, right? Or I can say A-cis conformation. So in A-cis conformation, uh, if you have uh, bulky groups there there will be a steric hindrance so uh, you have to identify which compound will uh, prefer to stay in the acis conf conformation and according to that their reactivity will increase so that things you have to do so it you can find it in clayden and uh, books for special books for pericyclic like like gilchrist and store and also uh, if you solve questions you will get some examples okay now the fourth point is the stability order of carbocation carbanion and radical again this is very important like acidity and basicity this is also very important and also uh, the diene dienophile part is also important but this carbocation carbanion radical lot of examples are there so uh, more examples you can practice more uh, helpful uh, it will be more helpful for you right so again you can practice it from peter sykes uh, jerry march and carrie sunberg okay and this uh, part like acidity basicity and carbon and carbocation they are like related so uh, when you have to compare the basicity order basically you have to compare the stability of carbon and when you have to uh, compare the acidity not actually the carbocation but stabilization of a positive charge like that okay so uh, these things you can get and also radical uh, if you want to know about radical more uh, it is more extensively and more elaborately explained in Clayden. So that chapter I will always recommend you to read. Okay. The fifth one is the order of nucleophilicity and the living group ability. So again, it is very important and you can get it from Peter Sykes and uh, Carrie Sandberg. So these two books are very good for it. So order of nucleophilicity and living group ability, uh, not only in terms of question, but as a, as a chemist you should always know it so it is very important 
and the sixth point is the order of solvolysis reaction so solvolysis basically is then one reaction and here you have to look two things one is the stability of the carbocation which will be formed and the leaving group ability right so uh, the order of solvolysis reaction this is a favorite question for gate and uh, jm exam so uh, you, you should practice questions on that and you will get it in peter sykes and carry sunberg okay and no a lot last but not the least is the stability order of isomers like so uh, it may be cyclohexane uh, different con conformation or it may be acyclic compounds so um, different conformers and different configuration they have different kind of a stability and uh, there will be questions they will give you two or three questions which are same isomers of which are different isomers of same compound and you have to compare their stability so this is again very important so these seven topics uh, they are basically the order of different properties okay and uh, one or two question is uh, guaranteed from this right so if you practice this you will uh, have a great chance of getting one or two questions from there so that's all I hope this video will help you uh, in your preparation for GATE and JAM exam. Uh, so thank you for watching and if you are new in this channel, subscribe my channel.